Hello, Kinder. It is Santa Tadpole 2 here. And I figured since last week I did finally do my world tour. And if you didn't see that, I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, you likely noticed in the tour that I have an absolute plethora of towers throughout my world. There are about 50 of them in total in just the city alone. And I have three or four scattered elsewhere in the map. But I think it goes without saying that I, I absolutely love making these things. And that's probably my favorite design to do in Minecraft. And not to toot my own horn, but I like to think I'm pretty good at doing it. So today I figured I would just show you guys kind of behind the scenes of how I do them. By building the final tower in my city. And, you know, giving you guys a little sneak peek at how I do it. Going behind the scenes. Hopefully giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to make them yourself. If you haven't been on my world to do it with me. But, yeah. Today's just going to be me showing y'all how to make a tower. So... I hope you enjoy. So first things first, you gotta pick a design. Usually I do this by either going to Google and just looking up some stuff, or I can just go into Creative World and try out some different designs I want to build. You want to make sure you do this ahead of time though, because you never want to get halfway through a build and realize there's some big flaw as I've done in the past, or you just don't like the design of it because there's nothing fun about finishing a tower that you know you're not going to like. This really is a big commitment and these take a long time to make, so making sure you put in the proper effort ahead of time so that you'll have something you'll love seeing is the best way to start off. The next thing you'll want to do is plot out the land that your tower is going to be sitting on. As you can see in my world, I've basically flattened out an entire continent that I could put my city on just so that I could build towers all over the place. I would suggest completely flattening these areas because this kind of gives the most realistic look to it. Like if you look in real cities, you'll see that they're on extremely flattened land uh, where the skyscrapers are. And this just makes it so much easier for you to build on. With that being said though, I realize that not all of you guys want to go as extreme as I have and make an entire city of these things. So what I would recommend for you if you're just trying to make like one tower in your world, I would say just try and mostly flatten the land. Right, so if you're not going to go completely flat, I would say give it a max uh, difference in height, like the Y value of about three or less. If you go too much over that, it's going to look real janky and your tower is just going to be kind of hanging off the side. So if you go about three or less, you can kind of work that into your building and it'll still give you a great base that you can work on without completely destroying the land around it. Now that you've got your plot and you know what you're going to build, you're going to need some resources. And when I say resources, I mean a lot of resources. These towers take upwards of a double chest of your primary building material and half a chest of anything else you're using, including the glass, the torches, and any accent blocks that you're really going to need. And I would suggest holding off on even starting your tower until you're pretty well established in the area. For your first tower, I would also say just go conservative with the materials you're going to use. Use something like cobblestone or sand and sandstone if you're in a sand biome. You want to make sure that whatever you have, you have plenty of it. And you want to make sure you get these resources before you start the tower, or else you're going to be constantly going back and forth to your mine instead of actually doing the building itself. I made this mistake when I made my first tower, and it took me almost three weeks to finish it because I was constantly just going back and forth to get things. And there's nothing more frustrating than not being able to build because you just keep running out of materials. You also want to make sure that you have enough torches or other lighting elements to keep your tower lit. Because when you're building up this high, a simple hit from a skeleton isn't so simple and it's going to send you falling to your untimely death. And once you've gathered everything you need, place it all in a chest or a shulker box if you've made it that far into the world. And put those at the base of wherever you're going to be building. That way you can just get back down and grab whatever you need and stock up real quick. Now that you've got everything that you want to build with and you're finally ready to start building, begin by making your entire first floor. Make sure you have all your windows, your torches, your doors, your ladders, absolutely everything that you're going to put on each of these floors. This is honestly probably the hardest floor to make because this is going to show you exactly what the entire thing is going to look like. And you want to start off by doing this because this will give you your last opportunity to make any small tweaks or changes that you want to make before you have the entire thing up. You do not want to get halfway through your build and realize you want to make some change because that's going to take forever to fix on all of the floors that you've already put up. And now for probably the longest and most tedious step, the actual building. 
This step is definitely going to test your patience, and so I would recommend while you're doing it, either grab a couple of your friends to help you out, or make a big old playlist of some of your favorite videos from your favorite YouTubers that you can watch. This will help you to pass the time because it's going to take a lot of time. This process usually takes me a couple of hours or a couple of days to do, and you want to make sure that you have something to do to help you pass the time. You also want to make sure that you don't just do this all at once because that's going to get you burnt out. You want to make sure that you're taking frequent breaks if you notice that you're getting bored or tired because this doesn't all have to be done at once and it's really not worth wearing yourself out just for the one build. You also want to make sure that when you're building this you build some kind of a staircase, a ladder, or scaffolding. That way you can get to the top of your building where you're actually building or else you're going to be making a lot of dirt pillars to reach the building sites. And last but not least, once you have the entire core of your building put together, you want to go through to each of the floors and sort of decorate it and personalize it. As you can see on a lot of my towers, I skipped this step and it honestly takes away from most of them. There's a few that I do have with some decorations to them and I would say those are the ones I visit the most by far. If you add more to it, it feels more like a dwelling. When you leave it empty, it just looks like a construction zone and there's no reason to visit it. So. Adding a lot to it and adding some personalization will make you much more useful and it'll make it more worthwhile in the long run. Well there you guys have it. These are my tips on how to make your own tower. Obviously this is just kind of how I do mine and if you want to change it up, do it your own way. Hey, you do you fam. These are just kind of like the, the core steps of how I would say you should probably do it. But at the end of the day it's really just about finding your own way to do it and having fun with it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any other suggestions or anything that you think I missed, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, I would love it if you all yoinked a like my way. If you really like it, I would love a subscription. I'm desperate for those. I don't have many. But yeah, with that being said, I'll catch you guys next time. Tschüss, Kinder.